Dina Marie, David, and John with you at Matre Day Radio, and we'd love to share beautiful music. We had, not too long ago, Cooper Ray and Tom Booth in studio just jamming things up, and Cooper has spent a lot of time as a, litur- a music liturgy director at his home parish in Baton Rouge, serves as a, a father and a and a husband, I think probably his biggest vocation in the world, but also to share good news to the Lord. Cooper, good morning. Great to have you back with us. Hey, good morning, Dina Marie. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. It's nice and warm here in Portland. Where are you these days? Well, I am actually in Dallas now. So, um, it, you know, is uh, yeah, I was uh, in Baton Rouge for a number of years, but uh, we have relocated and we live on a little, you know, two acre farmhouse in uh, kind of rural. Uh, Flower Mound, uh, which is a little area north of Dallas. So, I yeah, love it. That's okay. where we're at now. Wonderful. Well, you've got a new recording coming out with Spirit and Song and OCP. Tell us all about it. Well, yeah, it's a uh, it's an EP, um, and it's uh, it's a seven song CD, and it um, actually it released about three weeks ago, two and a half, three weeks ago, and it's uh, called Anywhere for You, and it's uh, it, it's really it, it was it's a long time coming. You know, Wake the Dawn was a 2009 release, and um, I think OCP was very excited, and Spirit Song was very excited to, to kind of move on to that next project, and, and we looked at songs, and we looked at songs, and we looked at songs, and it just was not at a place where I felt like it could be, and so so here we are eight years later, and um, finally releasing this, uh, this new CD, and it really is uh, a great conglomeration of, of great music that I wrote. I, my specific desire was to write music for the church. Um, my first CD was just kind of like writing music, and wherever it landed, great. But this one was specifically, uh, this new one was specifically for writing music for the church, writing music specifically, and uh, in, in a lot of the songs, writing music for liturgy. Um, I, want, I, want the, I wanted the songs to be usable, and I wanted them to be singable, and I wanted them to be uh, very much something that a congregation would want to sing, but also that I could also use while I'm on the road with you know young people as well. And I think I think we got it. Mm. Cooper Ray with us by phone. Anywhere for you, the latest recording with OCP. What are some of the the messages, the scriptures, the real passages that you bring to life with this music? Yeah, the the first one, the first song that comes to my mind is called "We Come Alive," and it's. It's it's from Ezekiel when he's looking out of the Valley of Dry Bones, and uh, it's a co-write with Sarah Hart, who is an amazingly gifted writer, a musician, and um, and and we just sat down, and I was like, this is kind of what I'm looking for, and so it talks about just breathing life into us, and that when we follow the Lord and when we follow God's will for our life, that that he, through His Spirit He will breathe life into us, and so yeah, that whole that whole imagery uh, is kind of splattered throughout. Um, Throughout, we come alive. It's a, uh, it's high energy. It's a lot like Rejoice in its energy, and it's really the only song on the CD that kind of has that rocky, mm-hmm. um, rock and roll kind of feel. Yeah. When, um, yeah, and when you say we, you want to write music for the church in this album, how do these songs communicate that message to the church, the body of Christ? Yeah, I, I think it's just I, I wanted to write music for for the everyday Sunday uh, goer, you know, somebody's going to Mass, and for them to be able to just really um, be captured by the lyrics. Uh, Nothing terribly poetic, uh, nothing terribly verbose. You know, sometimes we can get caught up as artists in in the... imagery of it all without really saying, all right, am I, how am I going to connect and how is a, how, how is a father, how is a mother, how is a, how is even a teen or even a child going to connect with this song? And so I really tried to, to make the, especially the refrains very simple, um, very singable and repeatable and, uh, just something that's not really super complicated, not saying that they can't handle it, but I just wanted to be able to look at the, the lyrics and say, what is that guy who's got a nine to five job mm-hmm. who's dealing with um, <laughs> who's dealing with all kinds of things in his own life and his business and in his in his uh, family? You know, just that everyday struggle that he could just come in uh, and go, man, that song that that was that was for me. That's what I needed, and so that was the that was kind of the goal with a lot of the songs, trying to just be that uh, that very approachable 
um, leader can tell and not get too caught up in the theology of, of the church. Mm. Cooper Ray with us anywhere for you. The latest recording through OCP. Also get a hold of Wake the Dawn. What's been your schedule this summer, Cooper? Have you been out on the road? I have. You know, I've uh, I have a pretty really a pretty good relationship with an organization called Catholic Heart Work Camp. And uh, in fact, I think the first time I spoke to you, I was actually at one of those right? camps where uh, you know teens are coming together, about three or four hundred to to do service work uh, in their community, and, um, and so I've been a musician. So I did three of those this summer and uh, was blessed to be able to bring my family to two mm-hmm. of those, and uh, they were able to, we, we slept in a classroom on air mattresses and really just kind of <laughs> joined the camp life. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. And, um, and then I've also, I, I was, uh, I'm also with Steubenville, uh, Franciscan University, Steubenville Youth Conferences, and so uh, was at a couple of those, but it was pretty much a light summer for me. Uh, so that's kind of the extent of what I did. I purposely dialed it back because the previous summer was mm-hmm. just, it was crazy. I was away from home way too much. And as you said on the front end, my primary vocation being a father, being a husband. Yep. And uh, I just felt like I needed this summer to be a little bit more relaxed. Yeah. Cooper, encouraging message you can give our parents. This is a busy summer season for summer camps. We have an amazing one called Camp Howard serving here in the state of Oregon. But can we make disciples Mm -hmm. out of those young campers? Oh, my gosh, yes. I mean, the thing is, is that they're so, they're just like little sponges. I mean, I can, (laughs) and I can only, I I can speak directly from my son who's six, and Mm. his name is Eli. He is, it's it's amazing. When we, when we give them the credit, we, we give them the Say, look, when we, when we acknowledge the fact that that it, everything is within them to be able to comprehend of so much of what um, God has in store for their life, and when we speak to them, and we we speak to them about Jesus, when we speak to them about the church, and we don't think that it's oh, that's too heady for you, or that's too above you. Um, when we when we say no, I know you can rise up because it's within you because you're a child of God. Then I think they can they'll definitely be able to capture it. And I, I, I love that. I love being able to talk to 5th, 6th, and even 7th graders and, and on up. But I find that a lot of times, even the junior high, where people are like, well, you know, don't make it too complicated for them. You're like, if I have a host that says that, and it's like, no, I need to challenge them. So I, I without a doubt, um, you know, these young people are ready to be disciples. I mean, and they're ready to... To, to be evangelized, they're thirsty for it, they're hungry for it, and so we need to we need to feed it to them, we need to give it to them, and if we don't know we if we don't know the information, then we as adults need to seek that information out and 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 not just say oh that's somebody else's responsibility, you know let's let's as parents and as as big brothers and big sisters um, let us own it and, and be able to pass that faith on because mm-hmm. they're 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 hungry for it, they're thirsty for it, and they, they, and quite frankly they can they can take it. Absolutely. Be a disciple and build a disciple. Cooper Ray, mm-hmm. anywhere for you. Where can we get a hold of the music, Cooper? Uh, OCP.org would be the best place to go, and then you can kind of fish through that. Uh, I think there's a little search window at the top of their website um, that you can type in my my name, and then uh, it should it brings it right up. So okay. it should should bring it right up for you. All right. Well, thank you so much, Cooper. God bless you and your family. And again, that's anywhere for you at OCP.org.